That is the lingering question. Good evening, I'm Shelley Rabando. Tonight, a search is underway at an Albuquerque business with a connection to the movie Rust. It's believed the live rounds found on set came from the business. Action 7's John Cardinale is live for us at the scene. John, what's going on? Shelley, the business in question is PDQ Arm and Prop here at 126 Monroe Street. Now at the six o'clock hour, we saw three unmarked vehicles right there in the approach in front of the building. They left around 840. Now we watched the authorities that were on scene from six o'clock until 840, and we didn't see anyone enter through that front door. Now our view was a little obstructed, but you can see a gate over there. We did see authorities move between that gate. Now the warrant that was issued today was signed by a Bernalillo County judge. Earlier this month, we knocked on the door of 126 Monroe Street after KOAT learned its connection to the movie Rust. The business, PDQ Arm and Prop, is now the target of a search warrant. What we're seeing from these law enforcement uh, documents, uh, they have continued their investigation. They're, they're at this location in Albuquerque because they think there's information there that's going to help them. According to the warrant, authorities believe the round that killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins may have came from this business. Everyone is wondering, where do these live rounds come from? Why are they on a movie set? Uh, the trail is leading back, apparently, to this prop house in Albuquerque. The warrant shows the owner of PDQ Arm and Prop and mentor for Rust Armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed, Seth Kenny, contacted deputies and told them he believed the live rounds found on set might have been handmade reloaded rounds he got years ago from a friend. For the fact, people are calling in and saying, oh, this is what happened, or this is what happened. And, and so if you're a prosecutor, if you're a lawyer in the case, you're wondering, okay, you know, what's the credibility of that person? Why is this taking so long for this information to get out? According to the warrant, detectives also got a call from Gutierrez Reed's father. He claims he went shooting with Kenny before the filming of Rust and left hundreds of live rounds with Kenny that never got returned. From a, a perspective of a criminal investigation, um, you know, it remains to be seen whether the liability, you know, where the liability is going to lie, or the, is the DA going to wind up filing charges against any of the people who are in the chain of custody. KOAT legal expert John Day believes this is a huge breakthrough in the investigation. From a law enforcement perspective, they're they're getting closer literally to the smoking gun. The uh, investigation is unfolding. Um, it's probably the, not the last we've seen of, of search warrants and more information coming in. And when authorities were leaving the scene here, I walked across the street and asked them if they had executed the warrant. They didn't respond to me. We'll continue to keep you updated as more develops. Reporting live in Albuquerque, John Cardinelli, KOAT Action 7 News. Items listed in the warrant to be taken include documents about the movie Rust, any and all ammunition, journals and film equipment.